Hello, my name's Freya. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, very much appreciate you coming back. So today I am so excited. I'll just reach for this. So although this is an Alien Cosmetics um, magnetic palette, I have been aching to fill this for a long time and especially with this brand this is Terra Moons I got these the other day so these are currently on their site now and I bought these ones for about five dollars to seven dollars each um I, I just wanted to buy quite a few I wanted to fill this palette and uh, I wanted to sort of uh, spend on the cheaper shadows and uh so I chose a more like green sort of looking palette here so um I want to do some swatches for you I've got my arm ready and uh, so let's get to it so the first shade I am taking is called Mi Gente Mi Gente Mi Gente which is this green here it is a matte so I'll just take that and hopefully I could do this well so there is oh that's not very good is it sorry guys so this is magenta this lovely like army green and the next shade I am picking up is this is land on the stars and it's a lovely matte yellow I'll take that and put this here. Wow. Can you see how bright that is? That is like that is amazing. Let me just put a, another swatch over the top. Wow, I love that. So the next shade. Try not to oh I'm digging my finger in it. I don't want to ruin these. So this is another matte and this is called Shire and it's this lovely green, like bright green, like olive green. So a bit darker than that first one. Looks very yellow toned. It's a, yeah, yellow green. So that is the mattes, <laughs> that's all I have for the mattes, I only bought three, I wanted the duochromes and shimmers, that's what I was after. So now the next shade I want to go for oh, is, which one's this, this is called Comet, so oh, wow look at that beautiful, beautiful like blue. And get through these quickly without ruin. I just stabbed another shadow. So this one is called Dark Matter and it is a very dark like grey blue purple. Wow with shifts of red. Can you see that duochrome? It's amazing. I'm sorry guys, I am shaky, I'm still not 100%, um, just getting over having Covid. So this one, oh wow, this is called uh, I Icono, maybe saying that wrong, so I'll just take that on there. This is a lovely green with shifts of blue. It's going to be so hard to choose a look. So the next shimmer is this lovely duochrome here called Harvest. So, ooh. Wow. A lovely light orangey brown shifts of red in that one it's amazing I said you could get these currently at five to seven dollars 
most of them were for like five dollars so this one here is mint frosting oh beautiful i love um the palette i chose <laughs> I love picking my own shades. I created an awesome palette. This is Green Goblin. Very dark. Wow. <gasps> oh. So this one here, the next one I am picking up is called Starburst. It's lovely, like purpley pink duochrome very soft wow see that it's beautiful so um okay the next shade i don't often do swatches can you tell is uh martian this lovely like briny green so i'll put that here the top oh, 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 beautiful and okay the next one i'm going for is this like purpley color called instella now when i first seen this it looked to me to be black but it looks kind of red purpley it's got so many shifts in it i can't tell what color it is so let's find out Oof. Yes, it's like red, purple, blue. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm trying to get this without digging my fingernails in it. Right, this one is called Hot Spiced Cider. So we'll put that here. Wow at them and I got two iridescent um, shadows now the first one I'm going to pick up is called snow globe like a white um, it's got uh, tones of gold in it and almost like um, a very green sort of color to it so where am I gonna put that you know what guys I think I'm gonna have to put them down here at the bottom so that's snow globe Ooh. you know what i think i'm gonna put one here just fill in that gap so the last shade i have here is called atlas this is um it looks very similar to snow globe but obviously it's different so let's see what the difference is we'll put that here and between this has like pink shifts to it rather than the other one has more blue so there are all 15 of the shadows so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna see whether turning off this light a minute is gonna make it easier for you guys to see yes so there are all the shades i chose really something huh <laughs> give me time guys i'll get better at doing this i promise i'm just gonna um get my eyes ready just wipe them down with this brush so i've just um primed with p louise base in rumor 01 And um, yeah, now we'll set. So, well, I'm thinking I'm going to use this Spectrum B07. And I'm wondering whether I should try and go for this really bright yellow. Yeah. So it's, uh, oh, it's a lot of uh, kickback there. Oh dear. I'm just going to start putting that through the crease. Wow. 
That's so bright. So bright. But I'm here for it. Just building on that. Wow, guys. So good. And I'm so pleased that I'm back to being able to do a makeup look for you guys. Because I've really missed it while I've been ill. I've basically been sleeping for a week. Luckily, I had pre recorded and scheduled some um, videos beforehand. I'm so happy. Wow, that is so bright. That is really bright. It's it's different. I love that. A little bit patchy in places, but that might have something to do with the eye primer. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter too much because I'm using this as like a transition, a crease colour. My Spectrum A12 brush, which is a tiny little blending brush, I'm um, now going to pick up this one here. I wish I could remember the names. What was this called? Um, Shire. I'm now going to pick that up on there, give that a tap, and just put that right in the socket. very similar on the eye to the bright yellow so it's not really doing much but we put it on anyway for is the dark green the olive which is called uh, my my gente Magente. The magente we are just putting on the outer V here and putting that through the crease. Yeah. That shows up a lot better. It's nice. Building it up. I'm just going to use that uh, first blending brush, the Spectrum B07, and I'm going to use that with nothing on it, no additional products anyway, just to blend in those two shades or three shades together. I'm going to get a little bit more of that magenta and just put that a little bit on the outer V here and on here and I'm also just going to use that give it a tap and run that a little bit under my lower lash line Only like to halfway. Great. And now back to that first brush. These blend out so lovely, guys. Oh, I love them. I think I want to take that as well, using that same blending brush, just giving it a tap. Just using that to help blend out the bottom here. It's flat uh, glam light brush. I'm going to use some um, NYX glitter glue. I'm just gonna, I'm 
I'll do one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera perhaps. I don't know. So I'm just going to put that all over there. And I'm going to do a cut crease. Faux cut crease. Okay, and the first shade I want to go for, as much as I want to go for these greens and everything, I really want to choose one of these iridescent colours and I'm going to go for this one here which I believe is snow globe because it seems to have shifts of green in it yeah snow globe so I'm just uh, going to take a little bit of that oh, I'm so excited to use this and I'm just putting that in the inner yes wow <gasps> wow guys That is amazing. What a beautiful shimmer. Duochrome. Oh, wow. So there is Snow Globe down. Okay, and next to it. Next to it, I want to use, oh, it's so hard to choose. Okay, I'm going to take this lovely green at the top here, which is called Hot Spiced Cider. So I believe this one has shifts of red in it, which I think is going to be a really good contrast to the look. Yeah, I'll put that in the middle. Beautiful. Just blend it slightly there. Oh yeah. Because I can see that red shift. I don't know whether you can. Lovely. Okay, so the next shade I am going to use is going to be because I want it to I don't know whether to use Green Goblin which is this really really dark green yeah I really want a contrast there so I'm gonna go for um, Green Goblin that really dark like um, green really dark green and I'm just going to put that on the A to V area. Blend these two slightly together, just like that. So I think that looks different, and I love different. I don't know though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am not sure whether I should have gone for that green. So you know what? I'm going to top. I'm going to top that green and I'm going to top it with Martian, this like browny green colour. I'm going to try and remember these. I'm just going to take some Martian and I'm going to put that over the top. Yeah, that's better, because I wanted it darker, but, you know, I love that you can layer these and just bring down the tone a bit on some of these shimmers, sort of mix them. Wonderful. That is so nice. 
Okay, I'm just going to take that little tiny Spectrum brush and I'm taking some of that, uh, what was that called? My Gente. Just dabbing that on that out of V there just to help that flow. Just wiping that brush. Just going over between these blends. Um, this Colourpop E27 brush, nothing on it. Just to blend around those edges there. Like Connie, this green here. I'm going to use that. I'm going to spray it. So I'm taking it on the same brush and I'm going to spray it with some Cover FX Setting Spray. And I'm just going to put that in the um, on the lower lash line towards the in the corner highlight area. Just meeting across. Uh, Atlas, this really bright iridescent shade, taking that, giving it a spray with some Cover FX setting spray and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner there just to brighten that up oh really nice yes. okay guys so that is it I'm gonna do the other eye uh, do the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you the finished look here's the finished eyes I don't know whether you can see the shift or not. I love this. I love the greens I picked. I love all, all the shades, the shimmers, the mattes, everything. I love what I picked. So here is the finished look. I absolutely love this green look. It's beautiful. It's so, um, so bright. So, uh, for blush I use NARS Orgasm, I just thought it was quite a nice light pinky blush and then for highlight I use Odin's Eye Salamander, this one here um, and I just put that in all the usual places. For my lips I use Jeffree Star uh, Dirty Money liquid lipstick, I have overlined a lot my lips just kept getting bigger or what can I say for um, my waterline I use melt wallflower gel liner ultra matte gel liner and uh, lashes I use a more by Colourpop so this is it I really enjoy these I mean wow Terra Moons do fantastic shimmers and their mattes are great too. I love how bright they are. At first I was a little bit concerned because it kind of went on a bit patchy but they build up. It does not look patchy on the lid. Um, really enjoyed using them. I found the mattes easy to blend out. The shimmers, wow. And, and you know what's great about them as well? is you could layer them to change the colour of the shimmer to make it more individual I guess to what you want. I mean I, I really enjoy these, really enjoyed using these today. Um, can't wait to use them again, perhaps do a more pinky purpley look as I got those shimmers as well and duochromes. I, I just feel so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love this look. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. I hope you enjoyed watching me use these for the first time. And um, I mean, first impressions, absolutely love Terra Moons. I cannot wait to, like I said, use them again and uh, also buy from their site. I didn't go for the most expensive shimmers on there. They have them like for something like $16, something like that. 
I just went for the ones which are currently on sale for five dollars, seven dollars and um, they are great, well worth popping over to Termines and having a snoop and seeing what you can pick up. Um, so yeah, this is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!